today we're going to do a makeup story adventure. Yeah, so Ryan will start, and then when he stops, I have to pick it up and continue the story. So we have done this before one time in the past. We had really a lot of fun, so we're going to try it again with you guys, okay? Yeah. All right, Ryan, you start. Okay, uh, once upon a time, there was a monster. Already? Uh-huh, who was not strong and he wanted to improve his powers. And then... And then, because he wanted to prove his power, he went to his master, Monster Sensei, <laughs> and say, Master Sensei, I want to be a strong monster, not a weak monster. Can you please train me? <laughs> the Master Sensei says, Sure. And then he trained super strong, and then one year later he was able to punch a building. Yeah. And then because he knocked down a building, okay, he got in trouble, right? <laughs> because you can't just be knocking down buildings. So the police monster force came and says. You might be strong, but you still broke the law, and you need a big timeout, okay? Or pay a million dollars. So which one you gonna do? And then <laughs> he said, "But I have nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Is that fine?" Not enough. <laughs> the police monster force says. <laughs> uh, okay. I will go to jail for, I don't know how long. Oh, well, for breaking building according to the law, you have to go to jail for 24 hours. But then you have to do community service and build us a new building. And then the monster said, okay. We didn't even have a, a name for this monster. What's uh, the monster's yeah. name? Um, Blob. Blob, okay? All right, so the monster Blob had went on his time out for 24 hours. He came out, okay? He's like, okay, I gotta do my community service. I gotta build a brand new building that I just knocked down just to prove how strong I am. Okay, that I've been training for for a whole year. So then he went and he tried to build, but then he realized, oopsie, building costs money. <laughs> you could have just got one dollar. <laughs> so not only does he not have enough money to build this building, he doesn't even know how to build a building. So he decided to knock more buildings <gasps> down. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. No. Okay, so he was just thinking that. Yes, but yes, yes, yes. but yes. he got a job and accidentally destroyed that building <gasps> because he was too strong. OMG. But he did earn $12. <laughs> Yay, for the first day of work, $12. <gasps> okay, so Monster Blob decided working is not for me. I'm too strong to live in this community. So I think I'm ready to branch out on my own. Better hurry up and run and get out of there before the police force catch him again, right? Uh -huh. So he ran out as fast as he could, but then, right when he left his community, something happened. <gasps> uh, his master sensei told him wise things about not using his power a lot. But he be no strong. He be no strong. <laughs> His master said, say wise word. <laughs> you be no strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Monster Blob says, yes, Sensei. I will not be no strong anymore. <laughs> But I'm going to live in this mountain so I cannot break any more buildings and until I can learn to control my powers. Thank you. <laughs> and then the master said, you still be no strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, guys. So that ends the video. And yeah. the moral of the story is you be no strong. You be no strong. <laughs> and, um, and don't break down buildings with your fists. There you go. Yeah. All right. So hope you enjoyed this fun storytelling video. If you like it, give us a big thumbs up. Hi, guys. Welcome to another makeup story time with Mommy and me. Yeah, so this time, if you haven't watched the other one, we're just gonna make up a story. So I will start and then Ryan will continue the story and then Mommy will continue again, okay? Yeah. So it's totally made up. Uh, I'm gonna start right now. Okay, um, once upon a time, there was a Wait. little boy named Ryan. Okay. He is obsessed with gummies. His mommy <laughs> says, gummies are for snack time, not for breakfast. But then, Ryan says, I want yummy, flummy gummies. <gasps> His mommy says, well, if you keep eating those yummy, flummy gummies, you're gonna have a tummy ache. You don't want that. And then, Ryan says, <laughs> Wow, such a good boy, Ryan, Mommy says. Okay, but guess what? It is time to go to school. So put on your shoes and you can bring gummies for snack time. On his way to school, however, he had dropped the gummies all over the floor. And he had about 526,227,000 gummies. All over the floor. Uh -huh. Can you believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and then, out of nowhere, Ryan turned around <gasps> and he sees a giant baby turtle. Uh -oh. And then, the giant baby turtle ate all of his uh, five something billion gummies. <gasps> Can you believe that? <laughs> Ryan was so sad, he starts to almost cry. Oh, but they're my, they're, they're my gummies, <laughs> Ryan says. The giant baby turtle says, No. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> then Ryan says, Well, fine, if you're gonna take my gummies, then I will challenge you to a battle. Then the baby giant turtle says, what kind of battle? Then, the Ryan said, uh, whoever can think of the most names that start with R. The giant baby <laughs> the turtle says, what kind of challenge is that? Lame. Okay, I have a better idea. How about we challenge to see who can twirl around the longest? And if you fall, you lose. Okay. Okay? One, two. Wait, wait, the turtles can barely fall. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> Anyways, let's well, continue the story. <laughs> so, on their mark, get set, go. They both twirled around in circles and spinning and spinning. I don't think it's this way, but. <laughs> spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> Ryan, okay? In no relation to Ryan. Ryan keeps spinning and spinning for about three minutes and he starts getting, I'm getting dizzy, I'm getting dizzy. But the giant baby turtle uh, kept going on for 375 billion minutes. Wow, isn't that like weeks? <laughs> <laughs> so that means Ryan didn't go to school that day. <gasps> Then his mommy got a phone call from the teacher that day. <laughs> of course. The teacher says, Mrs. Ryan's mommy, Ryan did not make it to school today. Is he sick? Ryan's mommy says, No, I send him to school with a pack full of guys. He should be good. Then his mommy got worried. Where did Ryan go? Then Ryan's mommy opened the door and guess what? Ryan, not Ryan, was there. Uh -huh. It said, uh, hi, I know where Ryan is. <laughs> He's 
at school battling a turtle with a twirling dance thingy. So Ryan's mommy says, Ryan went to school, but he just didn't go to class. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so then his mommy got in the car, drive all the way to school. <laughs> then the instant she got to school, there it is, in the front yard. Five billion gummies. Five billion gummies are all gone. <laughs> yes. Giant baby turtle and Ryan were spinning. Okay. Uh -huh. And his mommy says, Ryan, why why aren't you in school? Ryan says, uh, this turtle ate my five billion gummies, so I'm mad and now I'm battling him to a spinning battle that'll take like three billion minutes. Ryan's mommy says, wow, that's a lot of gummies. You're right, maybe you should just battle. Mommy will be here and cheer you on. For three billion minutes. Except Ryan didn't last that long. He only lasted, <laughs> how long did he last? Three minutes. He only lasted three minutes. <laughs> 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 so his mommy took Ryan home. And there it is, the turtle keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. Ryan, you have anything else to say before we that end? When the, the next, yeah, 18 years later, uh -huh. he went to the same school that turned into a college. Uh huh. And he still saw the turtle dancing. Whoa. Spinning. Infinite turtle spinning. That is so cool. So the moral of the story is don't challenge a baby spinning turtle. That ate your five billion gummies. Yeah, just cut your losses and go. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our funny story. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and uh, let us know what other story time you want with Ryan and Mommy. <laughs> Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. I'll challenge you to a spinning contest. You ready? Uh-huh. Four, two, three. <laughs> dizzy. Uh, don't get dizzy so fast. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> 15 years later. <laughs> He's still spinning. He's still spinning. Bye. Bye. <laughs>